Good afternoon, my friends. Stand up with me. The song is the song you say, singing to you. Stand up, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Your Savior. You're coming, King. Read that psalm before you get your Bibles out and read it and study it because it's the truth. And Jesus is the truth. The Lord is the truth, the living truth. And all we have to do is trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus. He's the only one that gives us happiness. God so loved the world, he gave his son to die for us all on that cross. He did it all there. Cast out the, the curse of sin that had come on to, into the world from Ad, when Adam fell. He took all our sins. Psalm 103. He bore all our iniquities. Healed all our diseases. All. He always speaks the truth. He says he's done something. He's done something. If he's going to do something, he does it. There is no failing with him, with God. We fail him. That's something I never want to do. I love him so much. But just think, my friends, he did all that for you to set you free. So why, why is a sin rampant in his Why? You've got the proof there. You have the, the holy book you can hold in your hands. That book is his life. You read it, it's life. He's the Alpha and the Omega. You can trust him. You, you must trust. If you believe that he died for you and he rose again. If you believe that, you can step forward even further. Like it's, it says in John 3, when Nicodemus, Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus. Man must be born again to enter the kingdom. Because unless man is born again, there is no sin in the kingdom of God. So you're outside of it. You cannot enter it. So again, my friends, I say, if you believe what Jesus has done for you, make that step forward and ask, repent. I say, repent, repent, repent. Everywhere, the wickedness in this world is right. The enemy is a liar and a thief and a destroyer. And he's trying to destroy all the children of God. He's trying to steal souls. But so your soul and everyone else's, we're all his children. And, and his soul, our souls are, are precious to him. So listen to him. And read that Psalm 121 and, and lift up your eyes to the hills. From whence forth comes your help from the maker of heaven and earth. He's there. He never fails you. He is our keeper. When we give our, our hearts to him, 
we belong to him and he cares for us. Just just like a family of mom and dad who look after their children, who love their children. We are all God's children, every one of us. No matter what color we are, we're all brothers and sisters in God. So reach out, reach out, reach out. He rose from the dead and is alive forevermore. Reach out to him and ask him. Bend your bow the knee. He said, bow the knee and repent. All, all sinners need to bow the knee and repent. And when you do that, ask his forgiveness, he will read your heart. Because that's that that he reads. And if you mean what you say, you will receive Jesus into your heart. And the promises of everlasting life. Everlasting life. The pathway. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only name in this whole world that you can cry out to. And he always hears. But your heart has to follow what you're saying and meaning. And then he will come into your life. And you will know immediately, I'll tell you, you will know immediately in, in a minute, or even less than a minute, that he is the Holy Spirit of Almighty God has come to dwell in your heart and to, to lead you in the life that he has planned. And he has planned a life for every one of us. We belong to him. We all have a calling. And when we ask him into our hearts, then he starts to show us. He has for each one of us. A trust and obey. We have to trust and obey. There's no other way. There's no other way. Disobedience draws you away from God. Obedience draws you closer. And that's where every one of you need to be in this, this world where you're all being distracted from the truth. You know the truth. It is written. Read it. Read the word of God. So that you follow that the words of, in that in His holy Bible. That's life, and He will lead you through it. Like I said, He's Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. The devil was defeated at Calvary. I remind you, he was defeated at Calvary. His power was crushed beneath the feet of Jesus. He died for us. Rose again with a triumphant shout of victory over hell and death. Cry out to him, my friends. I tell you the truth. It is written. It is written.
turn to him, call out his name, and come away from the path of sin. Because there's no hope in that path. There's no hope at all in that path. It leads to And I'm sure you choose to find happiness, not destruction. It's even thinking with common sense to know the difference between good and evil. Between Jesus and the devil, who is, is the, the God on this earth. And he came down, as I've told you, when Adam fell. He took what God had promised Adam. He took over and came running down to earth with that curse of sin, which comes upon everyone from that time. Every child was born from that time came into that curse. But... Jesus has died for it. You no longer have to follow Satan to turn and follow Jesus. So my friends, read that psalm again. One, two, one. And read Psalm 103, two. Because he bore all our iniquities, all our diseases, and he lifted us from destruction. And that's, that's, where, that's the path you're on when you're sinning, path of destruction. So move from it. I, I, oh, I plead you to move from it, to receive the Lord as your Saviour. And when you do that, you know, you know that when the end of your life comes, you know you'll be with Jesus. But if you don't know him, you know the other direction. So I ask you again to read Psalm 121. And I also ask you, to read Psalm 91. Because when you you come under the shelter of Almighty God, those words in that psalm are there for you to stand on loving and trusting Him. So and you know, there's a saying in the world, you pass the ball, pass the ball, you pass the ball. And I pass that ball to you today. To use it and to play, to play the music of the, the right pathway. The right pathway that leads to everlasting life. Praise you, Lord. Praise him with me. He did everything on that cross for you. By his stripes. Those stripes on his body. You were healed. All you have to do is believe the word of God. Only believe. And you will find Jesus and the way into the kingdom, and life everlasting. Praise and thank you, Almighty God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Your words, Lord. Be like a two-edged sword, Lord. Parting the bone. 
the marrow. Lord, your word, your word, Lord, the two-edged sword. Oh, Father God, Father God, may your words go forward this afternoon, Lord, with the mighty sword, Lord, dividing <coughs> dividing the good the good from the bad directed by Satan he is defeated I tell you again you know just just like in the garden of Eden the, the serpent that was him that was him Whispering to Eve, lies, and what what happened? They committed committed a sin against God, and they had to leave the garden. That is a a definite no, no. Praise Him, my friends. Praise Him. Praise him. Cry out to him. And move closer and closer to him. Read those Psalms, my friend. Read them over and over again. Until you know them. And know the meaning of each one. In Psalm one, one, two, one, and and also ninety one, he said, he, he sends his angels to watch over you when you belong to him, so your foot will never sleep, slip. And he listens, he listens when you call out to him, and he answers you. God is love, and love is God. Like I say, he did everything on that cross. There's not one single happening in your life that you're having problems with. There's not one single problem area that he didn't deal with on that cross. He did it all. He did it all. A finished work. Believe it. When God does a work, you know, it's good work. He's finished. He said he'd finished. It was finished. So believe it. Believe it. And walk on. Walk on this day into the arms of Jesus. And he's standing. In front of you all, saying, with his arms outstretched, Come unto me, come unto me, all you are heavily laden. He is the way, my friends, the truth and the life. So I pray from this day forth, you will follow it. He is the only way. Don't look to the left or the right. Look forever. Forward. Focus in on Almighty God. Jesus, your Savior. Praise him with me now. I thank you, Almighty God. The word has gone out this afternoon, Lord. The truth. The truth. People don't like to hear the truth, but the truth. It's only the truth that saves your people, Lord. Only when they, they read it and understand it. And believe it. So, Father God, 
Do you hold your arms out to them this afternoon? May they turn and say, yes. I remember when I first came to know the Lord. In the, in the church I was in at that time, I sang the song. I decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. God bless you all. God bless you all. Until we meet again. Goodbye for now.